All right, everybody, it is the next weekend here and I am off for the day and I'm gonna start working on the 1070 again here. Uh, we were fighting the power shift there in the last video and uh, I was doing a little more research and we have the older version of the power shift. So uh, everything comes in one assembly and we have to use the PTO shaft as alignment for everything. So. I'm gonna have to pull the power shift control module off of the top of the transmission. I'll have to get everything cleaned up before I do that. So I'm gonna work at that, doing that today and uh, see how far we get with that. And uh, then we'll try to get everything pulled out because there's a bearing that's holding everything that is in there still uh, in there. So, um, we have to get the bolts undone to be able to get that. So I have to pull everything with the power shift control module off. So I'm going to get everything cleaned up and uh, hope you enjoy. All right, so those that have not been around these 1070s, this is your power shift control module. There's a couple cables coming into here and some lines because uh, this is all hydraulically done. So there's a hydraulic, hydraulic line here, here, and I believe there's another one that's off over here. But anyways, there's also a, a shifting cable that's right over here that also uh, adjusts the plunger in here to be able to do your each of your per se power shifts. Um, I'll have to take that all apart. Of course, the first thing that I'm gonna have to worry about is getting this thing cleaned up. So that's what I'm gonna work at now.
One, two. All right, everybody, it's another Saturday here and we're gonna work on the tractor again. Uh, we have been working on other things. This poor truck here, we took the transmission out of it. Didn't uh, get the camera out for that, but we've been working on that most of the day here. So we're gonna try to get to working on this thing. We need to finish getting the power shift control valve out of this thing so we're going to try to get that out and uh, hopefully get to the back side of the power shift today there she is wow no, that was a yeah yeah there you go that that's both pieces and that's not just the top so that's right. a good thing that's, that's fine i think yeah i would rather see it coming that way i think uh, out of this out of the tractor anyways Ooh. Not the oil. toward the gasket uh, you guys gotta have to do a, have a new one anyway yeah i'm sure Part of it's gonna be self-explanatory, but mm, kind of. Yeah. Over to the other side. And across that piece, you gotta do that there. Yeah. Ain't got enough space. You got too many projects in the job. Yeah. And yet still plenty of things to work on. Even having several projects in here. Come on. Shims. This valve thing reminds me of a lot of the uh, just a few acres long. Yeah, M just dealing with on that MCV valve. Yeah, on that international. More shims. Yeah.
It's even worn on the splines of the shaft out here. Really? I believe it's draft control. Yeah. Um, so your three point. This one ain't got super crazy amount of oh. surface area everywhere. Yeah. Kind it's, of, but Still got some surface area. It's already coming out. Yeah. Yes, but we have to pull the alignment pin out. So this pin we have to drive out and this whole shaft. We'll slide out that way. So can we shift that plate over this way and I can drive that pin up through? Maybe. If we clear the transmission housing right here a little bit. Well, I'm going to see. That oil tube over there is going to be a pain. It's going to be in the way. That one oil tube that's going up with that is going to be a problem. I can get my finger there, but I can't do anything other, other than that. If I could actually, if I go from my underneath, if I can lift this up and then you get from this side to that oil tube, what reach across or something from yeah. over here? Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me it's stuck in it. <laughs> Acting like it's stuck. Oh yeah. Hang on, when I'm in there. Uh, well, take a break if you need to, I guess. Uh, this is not very convenient. Uh, no, ain't nothing convenient. Come on, baby. There. Should I just drop it down in that other spot? Well, it's saying take them out. So I would just pull all three of them out. I would assume that... Well, that's right. <laughs> Good grief. Been in there. The middle. Been in there a few days. <clears throat> there we go. Ooh. Huh? We took that and them out now. That's a good pinching point. Uh, probably. Gotta keep track of these. I don't know. Alright, here's the end of the video. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and uh, be looking for some other videos on this tractor coming out uh, like i've said before uh, we lacked one tool to be able to get things tore down and was really close to getting the power shift completely out of this tractor but uh, in the next video you'll see that as long as we have some time to work on this tractor which we should uh, anyways uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you like this sort of content and share 
the channel uh, subscribe if you're new that helps us out uh, getting uh, more people that like this sort of content uh, I reach out to them with a YouTube algorithm so anyways uh, without further ado we'll see y'all in the next one